Hey everybody, welcome to the first battle of the Battalion HQ. I couldn't get a city fight, but it is a two skull mission. And this is defeating an elite lance battle. So I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's just the one lance. I did get lucky though in my drop here. Um, so the enemy is down here. Normally you're supposed to start the mission over at this end and work your way around. But I do have the high ground, so that's probably going to help a little bit. I do have a bunch of mines, so I'm hoping to just... I don't know what to expect of two skulls. It's it's against locals too, so uh, I couldn't get anything against a uh, great house, so I have to deal with what I got here. Um, it's the only two skull battle mission I have, so uh, let's just move forward and see what we get here. Moving. Mm -hmm. Wish I could have got a city battle, but copy that, Commander. All right. Um, at least you're going to get a chance to see what this lance can do. Affirmative. It's not too bad. I mean, it's my command lance, right? So. These guys weren't really really uh, set up to be like brutal fighters, just more like a an area de area denial unit. But we got a good mix of speed here, so we'll have to see how it goes. Okay. We got an initiative. Um, so this is my MRM Javelin. I'm going to have to close, but I don't really like this. Let's do full speed, get as much evasion as we can. Five chevrons is pretty good. We're going to move into here. We'll probably pick up a sensor once we get up there. Most of my units have advanced optics, so... I kind of jumped around a little bit to try and find planets that... Um, Rommel Heavy Tank, alright. That had electronics um, to be able to yes, get these. Commander. Uh, the mine layer is going to sit back where it can't get shot at at first. On it. This thing's got no armor, pretty much. So what you want to do with these mine layers is keep it at the back. Once you've figured out aye, where aye. the enemy is and what they're doing, move it in and then dump your load and then leave. So this Pal Palamos is actually pretty good. It's a good close combat fighting vehicle. Plus it's got good speed. Both of my vehicle pilots have got... Um, uh, what is it? The, the first one in piloting gives them the, an extra two chevrons. Hunchback 4N, okay. This is supposed to be an elite lance, so I'm not really sure. Yeah. Uh, let's sprint it. Get up to here. Full so this is my crab. Good. Got a pair oh. of large X-pulses. That was weird because the very first uh, planet I started off on had the large X-pulse for a million in the... Um, um, okay, so it's the AC5 version. I think we're going to go for kill here. I'm going to hold on to the mine dispensers. Not really interested in getting a hunchback, but we'll just blast this guy. It's only 33 damage at this range. Here you go. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I was able to pick up the X-Pulse, and then... Um, on my first jump... Uh, I, I misjumped accidentally. I ended up jumping to a planet that was like 60 some odd days away. Um, and then I was like, oh crap, well there goes a whole lot of time. Oh, it was 50, 52 days, I think, jump or something like that. I lost a whole yeah. lot of time that way. But um, the, the bonus thing about it though is when I got there, there was another large X-Pulse in the actual store. And I'm like, okay, well that kind of worked out. Uh, let's get into here. So I, I bought the second X-Pulse pulse and then built the crab around the double X pulse loadout. So it's kind of nice. At close range it does like like two times 80 damage, right? So it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to shoot the tandems just yet, but we're going to fire out the LMs here. Now I've rated this lance at two skulls and it's only because I don't have the uh, leopard dropship yet. Uh, it's okay. It's got vehicles. I was hoping for more on this one, but a two skull win is nice if it's really easy. Although, I'm not going to get much salvage out of this. Osprey? What is that? Talon. Okay. That's nice. I've got my salvage set to 1-7. Um, and because I'm in supply, my salvage is also set to... Ah! I think the handful of missiles. My salvage is set... Uh, sorry, my... Um, my payout in my... Uh, salvage... Um, 
is set to normal, and then my selling is set to 13%. Taking minimal damage. All right, so I think Commander. we're... We probably have the better of the two lances here. I guess gotta be careful to to choose my battles upcoming because like I said, being only um like my lance is rated at one skull, but I can do two skull missions, it's not a problem. I've only got yep. like I said, four mechs and two vehicles, so I gotta be careful. I've got an AWAX as well. Didn't bring it on this one because I didn't want it to get shot down. I thought the mine layer would uh give me a bit more option here. So let's go. He's got an AC-20, so I think this guy's got to go. I'm going to throw the mine dispenser on. 58 damage. Pretty good Pretty good at this range. This guy's got chunky armor, like like ridiculously chunky armor. So I think everybody needs to be on him. Oh, yeah. going to start filling this area with mines, too. SRMs are gone. Order. Because if we can keep them bottled up down here... Um, then they're just going to run themselves back and forth through the mines. Um, these javelins, though, they're good light mechs, but the, the issue with them is that... Um, let's go here. They're only 30 tons, right? So they, they can't take a lot of damage. Like, if I take an AC-20 hit, I mean, it's going to be really bad times. What do we got in this guy? Garbage. But we can drop some mines too, so we'll just fire. We're not going down there, so that's fine. No short range Fill it up. remaining. I'm listening. Fill it up. My second javelin. I want to get mines away here, so let's actually can I just move it down? I can. Let's get into here. Contract. We're going to go for the uh, Hunchback, I think. We'll pepper the Hunchback, put some mines down on his feet. 32% with the Tandems. You know what? We might get lucky and get an ammo hit here. So because this is a Bottle Report series, we're trying to take this planet. I don't care about the salvage. I just, I got to drop these guys, right? I ain't got no ammo for multiple weapons. Uh, yep. I'm not really worried about what we drop and what we don't. My um, hatchet in here would be lucky if it actually gets into to melee range. Let's get into here. Hi, Skipper. Full we are going to go after no the Rommel, though, I think. Keep up the damage on this guy, LBX and the Mind Dispenser. Let's go with... Let's just go with Cluster to make sure we get some damage on him. Or not. I guess he was shooting for low-flying aircraft. I have no idea. Alright, hammer time. Let's put you here, I think. Let's go. Hammer's my AWACS pilot. Okay. So that was a mine layer 10. 22 damage. That's pretty that's pretty chunky. I'm happy with that. Okay, just keep missing with that with that okay, uh, damage is light. gun. Well, oh, I think we're all within striking range now pretty much except for maybe the hatchet. Okay, more damage. 24. Man, it's taking a bit of damage. You know what, landmines explode. Mm. Took a hit oh, there. for crying out loud. Oh, shit. Kind of bleeding. Okay, so now that that pilot's injured, I can't take it on my... If I do try to choose to do a... This is phase one of the turn. If I choose to take the pilot in for a second attack, or choose to do a second attack on the third phase, um, I can't bring that pilot with me. So I'll be down one mech. Commander. What if I get a little closer? Is that any better? Not really. We 
We'll go. Get in there. That's pretty good. Got very little ammo on these machine guns. Alright, let's just go on this guy. Everything I've got. Bandits have got a lot of armor, so it's... Hopefully that attack will chase him. What are your orders, Skipper? Can we uh, jump down there? We can jump to here. We can probably sprint to there anyway. Stay the stability. Let's do that. Push into here. I should really keep on that Rommel. Where are you? You moved closer, which is good. Not close enough, though. Um, he's still got his damage side towards us, so... Five points, huh? That's all you're gonna spit out today? Right here! Mm-hmm. Okay, Crab's got lots mm -hmm. of armor. Let's I'm put going. it here. Get our stability back. Rommel again, please. Not the best. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. Wow, really? Really? How's it going? It's going good. I need you to get in here and put some mines down for me. Um, they've kind of bunched up, so let's... Uh, God, no matter where I go, they're going to, like, target you. That's the bad thing about these mine layers, is that they just get targeted because they're just so easy to kill. I thought there was a... That's a little better. Yep, we can get our dispensers down there, so let's back up a little bit. I want to put them down here where these guys are, and I'm dropping them all. Um, actually, let's do... Think that. Target locked so that we don't hit. Like I, I'm pretty sure if a mine, if you're firing and a mine hits um, a vehicle or a uh, mech, I am out of short it gets destroyed missile. and doesn't lay bomblets on the ground. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So the lower the chance to hit on something, the better. Although we did splash damage to them anyway. Ow. Rommel needed to be gone by now. Alright, so we've taken the legs down to half. Awaiting orders. Really? That's a little better. Affirmative. Let's give him someone else to shoot for. This Polemos has got actually really good armor, so like it's pretty darn chunky. 160 at the front, 120 on the sides. For this level of play anyway. We'll open up with this guy. But he's going 17. We got both of our... Yeah. Okay, both of our... Um, javelins go after him. So hopefully... Like both my mech pilots... Sh oh, he's moving away. Oh, he took a lot of damage too. And he's on fire. That's pretty good. Yeah, run right in here. There you go. Too large, is that? The us, Really? This front's got a lot of armor still. Oh, Talon. Sorry, not Talos. Alright, so this is a really light mech. He's got like no... No armor left in his legs. All right, let's, um... Yes, Commander. Now is the time on Sprockets when we dance. Okay. That's going to give us his side. I mean, we could blow the um, the rocket load on him too. Let's move up here. On the move. 
That's a tough choice. Like, I mean, let's go on this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow the rockets. Let's just do it. No SRMs remain. Okay, hopefully that fire remains at the end of the turn. Yeah, we didn't hit the front. Okay. If that fire stays at the end of the turn, then he'll take damage the next turn. At least the bonus is if he turns around to come back here, he's going to probably blow himself up. Shit, that's the arm, probably. My insides are getting beat up! It is the arm, we gotta back up. 35. Can't get hit on that arm. I mean, it's, we had the benefit of being up high to get a little better chance to hit, but these guys technically are an elite lance, which means they're probably going to have better chances to hit. Okay, so he picked up 33. Yeah, see, he's still got tons of armor, right? Commander. All right, Knight. Um, Location confirmed. Fifty percent on this guy, huh? We blast the hunchback. Let's go with the most damage, yeah. Because we're not going to get, we won't get the kill. Okay, so that's our left side. We won't get the kill on the Rommel. Let's do this. Moving. I'm gonna put a brace up in here for now. I should have gone with my. Keep forgetting to not to use those like spy sets. Let's bring you down. You're still full armor. Vigilance. 63. We can unload everything on this hunchback though. So let's go ahead and do that. I got you. Like that Rommel should significantly damage itself when it moves. It's going on 14. Um, yes, boss. Your job is over for now. Back up to here. Confirmed. Got a pair of heavy machine guns, but no armor, so there's no point in moving in. That vehicle's not bad in a city if you want to try and finish off lighter mechs, but once you shot the mines, it's pretty much done, right? Okay, you missed. How are you doing? Getting there. Hmm. I mean, technically, if you want to play this the correct way, we would just all back up and go indirect and let them run themselves to the mines and they would die, but... Kind of a cheat way to do it. I mean, you could do it that way. But I'm not going to. We're going to back up over to here. We're going to go to that hunchback again. Hunchback's got the most weapons, I think, so maybe we just pull him down while we wait for that, that Rommel to turn around so we're not wasting ammo on the really armored sides. Commander. Okay, Sprocket. it. Not the best, but we're going to stay Copy in the that. trees. So if we get lower chance to hit, I'm fine with that. At least we got a little bit of, a little bit of protection. All right, Slancher. Now, I don't think you've got Fire Maneuver, right? No, you don't. Escapist, that was what the skill was. I mean, we could just... Sneak in here by going... Waypoint... Like this. Move order confirmed. We might be able to try and convince this uh, Hunchback to try and melee us. But if we blast him, he'll probably back up. So let's blast him. Oh, he'll probably back up. When it's his turn. 
Got no armor to speak of now, though. He's pretty shredded. This hatchet man's well, not bad. Can hit harder than that. But I'm finding that, like, his when I attempt to melee with him, it's just he misses a fair bit. Even at, like, high percentage chances, like 70-some-odd percent chance to hit, he misses most of the time. I don't even bother with charge. <laughs> it's... The chance to hit is pretty darn low. Although this, we put this guy into range now to be able to attack him with melee. They're still working on it from what it seems like. I've updated to the latest version. Ooh, good night. So they're still working a little bit on melee quirks, I think. I think after you've meleeed, there's like, it's, it's weird because it doesn't quite give you the full... There's something that happened. Yeah, he's still keeping his things away from us. Skipper. Yeah, we don't quite have enough range on this. But we will next turn. Okay, you're going on 17. I want to OP you. Wait, when does everybody else go here? 14, 19, we got 19 and 20. So even OPing this guy, it's not going to help us with the javelin, and it won't help us with the polemus. How's the bandit doing? Sides are damaged. I think we just shoot him. Let's just hammer him. Hit four. Nice. So if you guys don't know, um, and I've discovered this I copy. just because we're playing, I gotta make sure my right side is facing him. I gotta concentrate, because if I don't, I'll put my wrong side facing, because you know me in my directions. Go here. I copy. Um, if you don't know, LBXs have a minimum range before they can, before they'll shrapnel. So if you're if you've got cluster and you're in close, use the cluster ammo because it will hit the enemy and do the same as a slug, but it has a higher chance to hit. So it's just something to be aware of. Here we go. Here you go. Okay, right torso gone. So you must have That's had an kill, XL. Commander. Which means we might get some salvage off that guy. Yes, Commander. Not bad. Good Let's go, go here. I'm gonna stay a little ways from away from that Rommel just to make sure he has to come to us. We'll probably hit our guy in the back here. Nope. Good damage though. It's good to go. You're good. Bracing for impact. Alright, let's see what this bandit does. He might take off back this way. I think he's does a bandit have fire maneuver? Can't remember. So he's got two pulse lasers and some machine guns, I guess. For you? No, don't hold still for him. Don't hold still for the Rommel either. That shit's gonna get you killed. At least the, Pal the Palamos, we can whip around to the other side of the Rommel and attack him from the other side. You can get there in two turns, probably. Yeah, you run right through those mines. Enjoy it. That's the side that's facing away from us. Okay. Standing by. Go to here. Mm. It's the same either way. Let's go after this guy. He's closer and he seems to be hitting more, so we'll just fire. 24, not bad. Leaving the machine guns off because might as well save it for when we're close to the enemy. I think we'll back up. Confirmed. Same target. Firing. Eh. So this was supposed to be a two skull elite lance. Hopefully that's not a minefield. I doubt it. Yeah, he's, he's still keeping that other side facing us, but... Um, 
Like he's got this side facing us now, but if I can get in front of him, I might be, might be able to hit that side. Orders. Um. Hmm. We're out of range for the AC-20, so let's back up over here. Let's get up here, we'll take a shot at this guy here. Okay, not bad. So, this guy is in range. I'm confident, we're gonna take these guys this turn. Yeah. Can we pen? Hey, yo. Kapinga. Roger that, Commander. Can you finish up that uh, sky for me? Copy that. Rag the vehicle. All right. Awaiting orders. Can you not? Oh, you can right there. Can I move there? I can. Beautiful. Moving to position. Better chance to hit if you only move rather than sprinting. All right, let's hope we get lucky. LMGs are up, firing everything. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, not quite. Yes, there you go. He ejected. Beautiful. Mission successful. All right, phase one battle complete. I went mostly for sea bills on this one because it was a good pay. I was a two million, so I went one seven, I think, in salvage and lots of sea bills because I got to make my financial report. I'm gonna be jumping around trying to find missions. Um, oh yeah, um, uh, I think it was Strumble. I'm pretty sure it was. Was saying that if, and I should have thought of this before when we were talking about how to get missions, but it might be worthwhile um, if you're looking for missions around your skull rating to switch the, um, if you go back to the uh, settings in Road Tech, change it from um, missions based on planetary basin, basis to missions based on Lance level. So if you're rated at two skulls, you'll get two skull missions. I won't because I'm one skull. So for me to take two skull missions, I'd have to like, I still have to um, have my difficulty like my skull variance difficulty set higher to hopefully get two skulls so but if you're if your lance is rated at two or two and a half that's a good way to find missions so it's completely up to you i'm going to leave mine the way it is so all right so this i can't put any of this together anyway uh, but we can grab salvage off of the battlefield so i could take the 20 plus 30 range increase jam chance i can take one thing C3, end of steel, I don't need. 260 is not bad. Ooh, light engine. I think that's what we take. I can't put it in anything until the battle's over, but. Or the double heat sink kit. I've got one, so I don't need it. Alright, we're just gonna grab the light engine. Alright, Bandit, Rommel, engine core, two fire control system standards that I'm just gonna sell. Uh, standard fusion engine I'm going to hang on to in case we pick up any old mechs on this planet. I don't know. AC-5 ammo, we'll probably just hang on to that too, right? Yeah, we'll hold on to it. Alright, so that'll end my turn one, phase one. We go to the crab here. We're just going to quickly get it repaired. But yeah, so, I mean, I got half decent lance. Unfortunately, the adder and urban mech won't be won't be seen in this these battles coming up because, I, I like I said, I've only got uh, the ability to drop four. I didn't I didn't go after this, but now that i got a few sea bills at some point, okay. Through this campaign, I'll most likely end up grabbing drop size. Uh, even though I won't be able to drop any more mechs throughout this entire campaign, I can only use the four that I've got. You know, that's uh, that's for future anyway. Uh, command center. So always good to see you in ops, commander. Unfortunately, I've only got one more mission I can take. What's this guy? It's against the clans. Escort. I'm not doing escort. I got to do battle. One skull against Steel Viper, so I can't do that. Yeah, so it's going to be tricky getting missions, right? Capture a base I could probably still technically do because there's no turrets. So it's kind of the same as a battle in a way, but I would look rather, much rather grab a battle mission. So I'll probably have to jump again. Um, 
might be able to find something that's two skulls nearby. I'm at, um, I'm in actually Federated Suns territory right now. I'm kind of jumping around Lassa. I'm at a two skull planet, so I'll have to do a couple more jumps. I'll probably just, um, if I go here, um, settings, think about what you're doing. All right, I'm going to change this back down to like one, I think. So that'll, that'll, if I'm on a two skull planet, it'll give me like one and a half to two skull missions. I won't do it on this planet, unfortunately, right now because I'm already here and the, the missions are propagated. But once I jump, like I'm probably going to go to Sing, Sing Tao, wherever that is, like right here. Yeah, 19 days. So I'll probably be jumping there. So my second battle will happen there. But I am going to leave this here. Um, so that was uh, Orange Sector first battle for the HQ company. Um, two skull mission win. I'm going to mark it on the map. Um, so when the next battle report comes out, you'll see the updated map on all the successes for all of the units. Please check the description. Um, that's how you got to this video, of course. But please check the descriptions um, of this and previous, like of the mission report or the battle report that this came from. And like in previous battle reports, as you go along, because sometimes people might not be able to um, post quick enough to get their missions up. So um, not everybody's going to be recording and posting, but those that are, uh, sometimes depending on how quickly they can get their videos done and posted or whatever, how comfortable they feel with them, um, they might get posted late. So go back, and I'll mention this a few times, but go back and check uh, some of the battle reports with, um, previous because they may start the videos, more videos might start to, start to populate on those uh, battle reports, so there'll be more videos there to watch. All right, so I'm going to end this one here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.